Hello, Pampered Shepherds. Today we are going to be right. slicing some strawberries, making That's some bubble waffles, and making some ice cream. And now we have the chef herself, Sarah Lee. Sarah, Sarah. Sarah. <laughs> Why do I even let you? <laughs> as she types away and gets ready to show you all pampered shepherds what we're doing. Well, no one, okay, oh Lord, oh. And that's gonna be our dinner, I think. Yes, it is gonna be our dinner. I went with a frozen chili. And these are our puppies. And there's our other puppy, Lacey. All right, so this morning we were up early to go and um, do, do, go watch. Do, Woo! Not cross country me. Do Trap. not do um, no, I funky didn't. filters. I'm not. I usually don't until then. Okay. Anyways. Okay. And you guys, I have a new sign coming that's going to say stay tuned um, or whatever I decide to put on there. And I'm actually very excited about it. All right, sorry, I'm almost done. I wish I could share multiple at once, but we cannot. Um, so, and David did an excellent job running the two mile yes, PR. So, um, it was very exciting. Um, okay, sorry, hold on. Hold on. Yeah, he did play paintball. Say hi to Isaac. The ever elusive Isaac. Bye, Isaac. Isaac. All right, almost. I'm almost done now. Perfect. All right, so perfect. All right, people, we are good. Now I can really get rolling. This is fun. Um, so. First off, we're going to go and get the bowl for my ice cream maker, which I keep in the freezer. Pardon me, pardon me. Operator error here. Alright, so. I keep this stored in the freezer with the lid on, that way no ice crystals build up. And I take the lid off. And put it on here on the bottom let me make sure I have my two little notches right here all right so the paddle goes on like this this pops onto here and locks into place there we go we plug it in which obviously but still we want to make sure we note that Turn the power on. Now I need to get one of my scrapers. I like one of my, I'm gonna use my old blue one. No, we do not have this one anymore. So, um, more important. Okay, so I always like to use my stainless steel mixing bowls to store it in here because the stainless steel gets colder faster. Because you want your ice cream mix to be as cold as possible. And I always like to just give it a quick mix. So today, we're doing a chocolate peanut butter. So I used PB2, I used cocoa powder, I used, um, I'm trying it with um, a quarter cup of sugar and a quarter cup of Truvia, and then two cups of heavy whipping cream and one cup of milk. And let me get the timer. 20 minutes is usually plenty good, and I like the pour spout on this too because it makes it easier to pour. Laura Elizabeth and Rachel Tarver Martin are watching. Oh, good. You gonna tell them hello? Hello. <laughs> Peace, David. That was their hello. Me saying their names. That was their hello. You're such a good host. We have some pampered shepherds in here. All right. I don't know why your dad let you two do this. Oh, right. um. 
Oh, and you didn't spell, you spelled cheapers, not shepherds. C-H-E-F-F-E-R-S. I don't care. Oh, I should. Okay, so, use the whisk on David. Use the whisk in our largest of the easy read measuring cups and the quarter cup measuring cup. I just use that one for everything. Um, but we got those. Remember that these are di all dishwasher safe. All these markings are actually baked into the um, plastic so they never come off and you don't have to worry about that problem. And uh, I'm going to store it in our largest leak proof glass container and then put a little saran wrap over it. All right, let me move my other measuring cups away. So I want to use our batter mixer and dispenser because people were talking about this. All right, so when you first get it, uh, this little lid right here is going to be on it and it's going to be a little tougher to pull out. So when you do it, you want to, that first time, you want to kind of angle it as much as you can and start pulling it up. The first time should only be the difficult, the only difficult time you have. Now this does come open for you to pop it all into dishwasher. Now this little flat lever, make sure the longer end is here or it won't dispense the batter properly. Don't ask how I know that information. Um, it might or might not have been operator error. Okay, so then there's a little bottom that you leave on for when you're mixing. It's silicone, that way it's not going to skitter everywhere. This stays off. This is for dispensing. It stays with this for mixing, okay? And this does come off for cleaning, okay? FYI. And now let me get it back on. Okay. And of course, Zeke is in the kitchen with me. I know, I showed Surprise. him a couple times. Okay. So when you're doing this, I find it's better to put liquids in first. Um, that way you get less of the um, dry ingredients stuck together in there. All right, so I had a cup and a third. I'm using some of the, um, one of the Costco pancake mixes, the, I think, birch benders. And then I used a little bit of um, banana because I wanted to just have that. And don't worry, David, it'll be cooked, so you'll be good. I know. It's just banana flavor. Okay. So, and then the mix. Now I'm going to put this on. Now this will do a whole cake mix or a brownie batter. Um, and this is one of those ones that's really easy to mix at first and then you let it set for a few minutes. So that's what I'm going to do. Okay, I'm going to leave this sit. Put that aside and I'll mix it again in a few minutes. I actually am going to turn my dinner on um, because I want to make sure we have it in a timely match. I'm using one of my um, frozen meals I had reserved sitting for tonight. Now, you can put the lid on this way where it'll leave a little bit of gap. You can let some air out or if you want it airtight, you put it this way. Um, it will, and of course, my for some reason, my microwave's too low. But it will sit on to the pan edge like this, so that way you don't get condensation all over, too. All right, so I'm going to put this on here. Kind of got it low. Hello, now, Connie Brown. Oh, good. Connie's watching. She said Hi. she's here. Good. See, I love when people join us. All right. Zeke has joined you. Z Zeke loves to join us. All right, so I got that started. I'm going to let this sit for a minute, and then I'll turn the um, bubble waffle pan on in a minute. But I'm going to start working on my strawberries. All right, so... The thing, I love my egg slicer, um, but I love my quick slice even more because I can do multiple strawberries or um, bell peppers or whatever, uh, mushrooms, olives, all at once, and it's easy peasy. And this is our corn more. This will take out the holes of the strawberries, the ends of the tomatoes, the bad spots on the eyes of potatoes, stuff like that. And of course, this will, you know, be a melon baller. Okay, so. These are big strawberries, so I'm going to have four going on here. I'm just going to take, go straight down, and actually make sure I have them line up. Um, that's as simple as that. So, then I go to the next one. Core. Because we don't want to take off half the strawberry, but we don't want to leave the greens on when we're doing things like slicing. Um, so this is why the corn more is nice to have versus just using a paring knife. Um, Sometimes if I'm just going to quarter them for something, 
I will just use a paring knife just to be quick and easy, um, just because I'm using the same tool. Um, but when I'm slicing like this, I always use my core and more just because it makes it so much easier. So this was a two pound thing of strawberries. What are you doing? Not in my water. Oh, okay, that's hilarious. All right, you so. Care. Now, strawberries are one of those things that you don't really want to wash away ahead of time. Um, so you just want to wash them a little bit in advance. Um, the salad and berry spinner is a great thing to use. Um, washing lettuce all at once and in advance will um, help it last longer. You get all that dirt and stuff off of there. Um, so, super handy. Hi, Dad. Oh, good. Dad's joining us. But he could join us out here and make a cameo appearance. Thanks for announcing Thank you that. for saying I'm the best cameraman ever. Who did? Dad. Oh. Well, he's kind of partial. I mean, you are one of his two children, so. Yeah, but Isaac's done cameramaning before, too. Isaac just, Isaac is intentionally a horrible cameraman. That's why I usually end up making him do it. Man, some of these strawberries are huge. Dad, I'm adding you. <coughs> Don't add him on the camera. He's sitting in a dark room. All right, so. I'm not Dad just said, I have to read it. Is this the hot moms of Pampered Chef Hour? Okay. Your father has lost his mind. I think it was You the have lost your mind. Okay, so. We're almost done with the strawberries. You guys, you see how fast and easy that is? I believe that was two pounds, and I need to check. Um. But when we do strawberries for our show choir, we end up getting these done quickly and easily. All right, so I got six. I've gotten up to nine on here. Um, it depends on their size and everything. All right, so. We've already showed Big Z. All right. Yeah, Big Z. He's always in there. Big Z. Oh, and of course, now you've called Zeke's name, so Lacey's coming. Yep, and here she is, and he's right, taking the attention. And they have taken the spotlight, Mom. They have. Okay, so, batter bowl. This is, well, this is our old cell. Our other one was dirty. Um, classic batter bowl. It's an eight-cup one. Um, it has a nice handle. It's oven-safe, so you can make cakes in it. Um, all of our prep bowls and um, batter bowls are oven-safe, up to 300. 50 degrees so it makes it fun to do something like a custard um, and other stuff cakes stuff like that all right let me pop that in there all right guys that was that was let me see um, yeah two pounds of strawberries done in just a few minutes okay so we're gonna get the bubble waffle pan on I'm gonna turn on my burner so this is safe for um, um, gas stoves electric stoves whether they're flat top or the coils um it does not matter bless you babe all right oh. let me get a pan for my waffles oh. all right so i have to put mine this angle because i have the burners on the front and with the way it's flush it does not um go well otherwise um most normal stoves you're not going to have an issue with it so now i got it all mixed up it's beautiful, and I'm going to end up going up to, so I'm going to take, get that little bit of excess off, I get a couple of drippies, um, okay, and then I'm just going to pop this on, and make sure it goes on tight, and then I always angle it a little bit to get it right down, okay, there we go, so that way it's down and I'm not having to just push a whole bunch of air. Okay, there we go. Let me wash my hand off real quick. I don't have my batter. Okay. This is ready to go. I don't know how many of you guys like to clean up as you go. I used to like to just throw things into the sink. I've been actually prepping my dishwater while I'm making dinner, and then I just throw my dirty dishes in there. All right, so. I'm going to use my kitchen spritzer. This way we don't have a whole bunch of added crap in here. 
Um, all it is is whatever oil you want to use. Um, okay, so I'm going to lift this. Just give a little spritz. Oops, and not miss the pan there. I'm going to let it sit for a minute. And i got to mix my chili, but i got to find the spoon I want. There we go. So what happens when the boys... I... It was not all the way defrosted, so I'm still waiting for the middle chunk to... Cool. All right, let me get my little spoon holder here on my tool utensil holder. There we go. We got that in there. Got that on there. All right, so now this will hinge and rest open just like that. Um, so that way you don't have to worry about holding it. Then it's oops, still running. Clean off. Put that back. I'm gonna flop this down. Let this cook for a few minutes. I'm gonna turn it and I'm gonna turn this way down um, because I have overcooked these before. Um, yep. And it's it is it's very you gotta watch with overheating the pans. You gotta watch with temperature. Um, it's always better for pancakes and waffles to keep uh. it on a medium low heat um, or almost low depending on what. Um, temperature the pan is by the time you get cooking okay so generally speaking it's probably about two to three minutes each side so you're about four somewhere between four and six minutes for per waffle depending again on the temperature um, thickness of the batter all that fun stuff okay um, and of course you can do things like chocolate chips in here um, there are a whole bunch of recipes floating around of things like say I could do cornbread I could do um, um, there's, so I saw somebody do cinnamon rolls on that. Why, why was the flash on just now? You might have accidentally popped it. Well, oh, jeez, all right. You just can't help yourself, can you? Why don't you show them the process, the progress of the I ice cream? I did already. I actually did already. Just now? No, like two minutes ago. Oh, okay. Well, back that, what the heck are you doing, child? No, we asked the ice cream. Seven minutes Six minutes. I was showing how much time was left first. <laughs> All right, so. According to Dad, I'm the best cameraman ever. I mean, again, like I said, he is fairly yeah, partial. I don't think so. All right, so there's only seven minutes left, so you guys will get to see me finish this. Um, oh, yes. It looks uh, you guys. Okay, and I don't think that was a full. Cool, mm. There we go. So, it's still finishing. That's what I needed to see. Perfect. Oops. I didn't get slide. Perfect. It's still finishing. I'm the most impatient with making waffles. This is why I do them a handful of time. I usually make a big batch and keep them in the fridge for us to eat for a week that way. I don't have to worry about it. So, um, easy peasy. Usually it doesn't last a week. It's true. It lasts about two days. Well, it depends on who's eating them and what flavor I do. Don't or you if they're free? burned. Or if they're burned, because I usually get to be the one that eats the ones that are slightly burned. Can All you right. hold the camera for a minute? Yeah, sure. What am I doing? Just hold it for a minute. I'm okay. grabbing something. Okay. David, David apparently was bored of doing this. No, I think he's going, he, he ran and his hip's been hurting. So, um, anyways. All right. So. We'll have just a few minutes left on that. I'm gonna flip over these waffles so that way that other side's not and I'll pull it out. Uh, and that way you guys can check it out. Um, plastic wrap, sorry, I'm grabbing plastic wrap. So, um, I know this bubble waffle pan, I know Wendy has been talking about getting one. Um, and I've had a couple other ones want to have the bubble waffle pan and it's an awesome deal. So. All right, David, I need another hand. Oops. I obviously did not pull this off right. Okay. I did not spray well um, because I need to clean my spritzer. Okay, here, hold this. Sorry. All right. So, 
We're not perfect. We're pampered. That's what I like to say. All right. So operator error here, but that's okay. It'll still be delicious tasting. And um, so there. Ha. 16 years of mom and gets you there. 16 years of mom and does get you there, huh? Mm. And part of the problem is, is I need to clean my kitchen spritzer and I'm not in any position to be able to do it right now. So I'm going to just go like this and um, I'll make sure it's spread just with a quick swipe. Don't get too close. I don't want my phone to be hot or dropped in there. All right. Don't. Well, I don't know. Sometimes I'm, I they question things. They don't drop things. things. Okay, there we go. Now I'm gonna pop this down again. We'll let this go a few minutes, about two minutes on each side. I'm gonna get my plastic wrap all ready because my ice cream is almost ready. So Three minutes. I do, <coughs> I do plastic wrap over the top layer of it um, because I like to make sure we try to prevent ice crystals forming and it keeps it kind of smoother and softer. Um, soft ice cream is what we want and if part of it is properly storing it. You don't want to store it in the base. The base you do not want to use metal on either because it will mar it and scratch it up. So, fun facts for you. Um, let me just wipe up this little bit of batter right here. here. If the camera goes a little wonky, it's because David's doing exercises while he stands here. I'm fine. So, okay. We don't need to announce everything I'm I know. Doing. Well, the camera's possibly moving. It's... My hands are shaky anyways. Okay. Let me rinse off that base just there. Alright. Using the spatula, the mix and scraper again. Alright. So, we're going to flip this. Give it another two minutes. I'm going to check on my dinner to make sure it's breaking up nicely and it is oops oh and it smells delicious I love me some good chili we like to put um we do beans and meat and corn and um it's delicious to keep chili lower sodium use organic or no salt added beans um because then that way you're not getting a whole bunch of sodium in there same with your tomato sauce. Either make your own tomato sauce or buy tomato sauce that has no salt added. Um, it makes it easier. Um, and then we use frozen corn just because then we know that there's no salt added and frozen. Um, I do like frozen. So, oh, oh, so exciting. There's only a minute and a half left on here. I'll get this all fixed up and ready. And I'll get this all ready for me. So you guys get to see me multitasking left and right today. Uh, and then once we get the ice cream done and this is done, I'm going to sign off and then finish up my bubble waffles and dinner. Um, and you guys can ask me any questions that you might have. But my ice cream maker is one of my favorite things. Of course, my cookware. I love my cookware, my knives, um, my stoneware. I did not use stoneware today. Um, but so many things you probably can look around and start looking. I use a lot of Pamper Chef. I love Pamper Chef. I started hosting, well, before David was even born, um, because I love to save money and um, got tired of looking for a consultant and was getting out of the Air Force to have David and decided that this was a great option for me to be able to do. Moved our business now, eh, let's see, five times, five times. Uh, Connie's I've done it a lot in a little bit. Everything in between. What does Connie say? Oh, she said, do I need to give you my delivery address to drop off dinner for me? <laughs> LOL. I always have chili in my freezer. So, that's always good. Oh, all right. Oh, much better. Okay. Perfect. Okay, so. Just take that. Oh, and I just put my fork through it. So I'm gonna do I didn't show it, so. That's okay. All right, let me do a quick spray. I'm gonna turn this down just a little bit because it's starting to cook a little high. I don't know why I did that. I'm still using it. Okay, make sure this is spread because I want my oil to be everywhere. All right, lid off.
Okay. And pop down. All right. Let's do this ice cream, folks. Okay, so I'm gonna unlock it. Maybe. Do you want my help? Your hand's there. It was just operator error. We can tell. Yeah, again, pampered, not perfect. Let's go ahead and unplug it um, so I don't have it go crashing down on me. I'm gonna just knock this off. I always like to try to, you know, conserve as much as possible. Then I'll eat the rest. It's on there. Okay. When we're done, sure. Okay. And since we're almost done, you're good. All right. Hold on. All right. So, no, no, go put that in there, you fool. But he likes it. But he likes it. Why are you going to get a new paddle? Why? Because now there's dog goo on it. We just have to wash it. Connie said, bye guys, I gotta go cook now. And I'm getting hungry watching you. Sorry. At least it's at dinner time and not like, you know. Pamper Chuffer signing off. All right. David. Jeez. All right. Somebody thinks he's getting more ice cream. Yeah, Lacey's over here thinking she's gonna get some too. All right. I wonder why. All right, Mom, you so must I, have something to do with that one. I had it. A little, I probably could have done it five minutes longer to firm it up a little bit more, but that's okay. We're the just going to roll with this. will do that. Well, yeah, but the, the more that it churns, the softer, not the more, but the more that it churns to get it the perfect hardness, the softer it stays. Um, but it does melt a little bit when you get it in there. Will you stop? All right. Looking up at me. Now, I'm going to pop this in here, and we will get to enjoy that here in a little bit. All right. Flip this over. All right, guys. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, otherwise, I will talk to you guys all here soon. Thanks. Bye-bye. Well, let me finish it.